up guys, it's DJ Rod Biz. This is going to be a building my facade video. We're at Home Depot right now, getting our wood cuts. I'll go over the specifics when we get back at our house. Alright, so far we've spent uh, $40, 45 or something like that. We got uh, two, I believe it was eight foot pieces of this. It's white pine. It's, uh, what is it, one by, one by four. Then we got two, or no, yeah, two. Of these, there are. Just been like, you know, yeah, like I wanted to stop the floor so bad because I didn't see the car. Yeah. Right, I don't want to sound like crazy. Um, we got two of those. What is it? One by twos. One by two little pieces of those, and uh, we just got these two panels. We're just building two panels at first, and then we're gonna build the rest when we uh know that we can build the first two. We're just gonna do a four-panel system. It's gonna be uh probably cover a four-foot table. So I'll get back to you when I get home and start painting these. It's raining out. Alright guys, so we're back at my house in my garage. Oh uh, yeah, it's a little messy. <laughs> Got our wood up there. Because the floor kind of gets wet sometimes when it rains a lot. It's been raining a lot in Jersey. Uh, I know Rich up in uh, North Jersey probably knows that. Um, so pretty much what you need for your project is the wood, obviously. I went over that at Lowe's, the sizes of them. Uh, you can really typically do whatever size you want. Like if you were doing a uh, fabric, you do whatever size you want. Even if you were doing the panels, like I am, I think it looks better. Um, you can really do whatever size you want as long as you have the right size, you know, stuff. So first off, we are going to paint the wood, and we're gonna do two coats tonight. It's about ten o'clock, so I'll put the first coat on, and at about midnight, I'll put the second one on, and then I'll put another coat on in the morning before I go to work, and then after work, we're gonna start putting it together. Uh, I work from like 10 to 5, I think, so I'll be home by like 5.30 to 6. We're going to go get the hinges and the screws for the panels because we forgot about it today. But uh, it's going to end up being a long video, by the way, too. So things you need to paint the wood is, of course, you need your Wawa iced tea, you know, just playing. Um, you need your paint. I'm using flat black. It's the same kind that I used for my... Uh, Table topper, it's actually the same can. I have about a half can left. So it should be enough. If not, it's whatever. Uh, you can use whatever color you want. You can even go like orange or yellow if you want it to be, you know, like that. You know, exotic. But um, you need something to put the paint in. I had an actual paint thing, but I don't know where it went. So I'm using a, it's like a cooking thing. But I kind of flattened it out as best as possible. And uh, put it, you know. You need a... Uh, I don't know, some people like to use brushes, some people prefer rollers, so uh, I'm going ahead and using the roller. I like it better. And uh, that's all you need to start off, so uh, catch you back in a little bit when I start painting it. Okay, and our, okay, and our winner today for uh, paint roller choice is the smaller one, because the wood's not really that wide, and I don't want to get paint on, you know the whole thing if I could just do a smaller one. So, uh, yeah, get you back in a couple seconds. Alright, so, uh, go ahead and open your paint can up. Might be hard for me to do with one hand. No, that's not gonna work. Alright, so, open your paint can up. Alright, just a quick mention, by the way. We're also using glue to glue them before we put the L brackets on. Um, make sure you leave enough space unpainted. Because uh, I messed up on the back piece back there, I forgot. So I had to like try to like wipe it off with a towel. But uh, try to leave space because the glue tends to stick better to wood than painted wood because it's wood glue. So that's just a reminder. Just make sure you don't forget about that. See at the end down there, I have wood left or space left for these pieces to glue together. Uh, just a suggestion so you don't have to like end up screwing up. What up, guys? We're back. Um, we have all the wood painted. It's about, what, 45 minutes later. I did front and back. I suspended it on these little pieces of wood right here. It's got to focus. Yeah, right here. So, uh, tomorrow I wrote back on these. Not back, I kind of like, when I painted it, I took the little pencil and like scratched out that. Because this will be in the back, so you won't be able to see that little scratching out. And this is so I know I'm not going to double coat the back. I'm just going to put a single coat on there. Just because so, it's the back, you don't really, it doesn't really matter that much. Nobody's really going to notice if there's like, you know, you can see how it's not, you know, some 
bad spots or whatever. You won't be able to see that when you're on the back, and it's also still drying. So it doesn't matter on the back. The front, I'm going to put, like, probably two more coats on it. There's already, there's already one coat on it, so maybe tomorrow. Before we go to work, I'll put a coat on it, coat, and I go to work at, I leave at, like, 9, 15, 9, 9 o'clock, I think, if I'm in for 10. So at about 8 o'clock, I will put another coat on the front, and then while I'm at work, I'll just have my dad put another coat on at, like, say, 2.30 or 3. So by the time I'm home at around 6, it'll be dry again, and that'll be three coats. So he did the long pieces. Um, these are the short pieces. The uh, There's a one coat on these, front and back. So I'll do the same thing tomorrow. So uh yeah, it's probably gonna be done within like two or three days. I got the uh got a little fan set on here. Not that it's really doing anything, but I guess it's just a mindset thing. So uh I'll catch you back tomorrow when we start gluing it and uh stuff like that. Alright guys, welcome back to a beautiful day in Jersey. It's actually really nice out today. Yes, blue skies. Compared to the last week we've had, this is beautiful. It's not too hot. Alright, so uh, time for second coat on the front. It's the back. Um, it's 8.30. I'll be back at 5.30-ish to put it back together. So you guys already know how to paint, so I'm just going to do it without recording it, because it's kind of, you know, redundant. Alright, so right now we're just going to get the wood together and uh, start bracketing it together with these uh, brackets we purchased over there. Right, so you're going to want to get your pilot holes drilled for your uh, brackets and then get the glue in there, screw it down, and then bracket it. So once you have your brackets on, you're just going to plexiglass or line your acrylic up. Uh, we just did it like this, and we're just simply filling pilot holes and then putting the screws in. And then uh, going to the next step. Alright, so we just finished the panels. We're going to get the wood for uh, the other panels in a little bit. It looks really good. This is the back that you can't really see. But, uh, yeah, it looks really good. Yep, we're back at your boy DJ Ribiz. Um, Alright, so final coats on the squares. We have them all built. Um, just this one and the one behind here. Don't have the panels on yet. Because uh, when we put them together, which we already put the panels on, or we put the panels on before we figured this out. When we put them together, like they did get a little scratched on the floor. For instance, here. See, it's like just little tiny things you can barely notice. Um, I'm going to touch the really, really small ones up with a Sharpie just so I don't risk getting paint on the panels. So uh, before putting the panels on for these ones, we just wanted to touch it up finally and then uh, throw the panels on. But uh, this is the last really setup video. We're going to put the two panels on tomorrow after the paint dries and then uh, hinge it up, which we're going to do. For example, these two are going to be hinged and those two are going to be hinged. Paint on my paint on my hands. Um, so it's gonna be like an L and an L, and we're just gonna stick them together. We're not sure exactly how we're gonna stick them together yet. We're thinking of just like, uh, maybe Velcro in the middle, because we don't want to hinge all four together, because it's gonna be like big, and we're not very good with like getting it to hinge right and all that. So we're just gonna hinge the two together and the two together, and just stick it together at a gig. All right, sounds good.